Hey guys, Nick, aka the one and only Nick Games. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can install Optifine and another mod, in this case, not enough items, in Minecraft 1.8. This works with any other mod, though, as long as it works with Forge. You can install it and Optifine at the same time. So let's go ahead and jump on into this. First off, we want to go to uh, optifine.net slash downloads.php, the first link in the description down below. Scroll down until we find uh, 1.8 Optifine right here. Now, we don't want to download this one up here because it's not going to work. We want to scroll down until we find Minecraft 1.8.0 Optifine HD Ultra right here. Let's go ahead and then go to the most recent version and click Mirror over here. And then it'll take us off to here where we don't want to click any of these download buttons. We want to click on this blue link in the center of the screen right here. Click on that. It will then bring up a pop-up, close out of that pop-up, then click on the blue link again, and it will download Optifine right down here. Now, we're not done yet. We need to download not enough items to do that. It's a lot less going through things. All we need to do is come to uh, the second link in the description down below. It'll take you to this page. We want to click on the Universal for both Code Chicken Core and Not Enough Items. On uh, both of these, it will take us off to AdFly. On AdFly, I'm going to say this. If you have any issues with AdFly, like I just did, you can right-click and reload. If that doesn't work for you, like it just worked for me, then you can go how to enable cookies on whatever browser you have. Go through the tutorials there, come back, and it should work. If it doesn't, there's nothing I can do for you because AdFly is something Code Chicken has to use to make a little bit of money back for all the work they put in their mods. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click Skip Ad right up here on this one, which is, I think, the... Code Chicken Core, and then we also need to skip add on Not Enough Items. Right there, we want to keep both of those files. Now, there's one more thing we need to download, and it's the third link in the description down below, and that's Minecraft Forge. To download Forge, you want to go to files.minecraftforge.net, or again, third link down below. It will take us here, where you want to hover over 1.8, make sure it's bolded. If it's not bolded, it's not going to work, so make sure it's bolded, and then click on Installer under Download Recommended. It will take us off to Add Focus, where you have to wait a couple seconds and all that stuff. If you have any issues, right click Reload. Google how to enable cookies in your browser, go to the tutorial, come back, refresh, that doesn't work. Nothing I can do for you, add focus something for test to use to make a little bit of money back for all the work they put in their mods. Let's go ahead and skip, skip though. And as you can see, there it is, Forge is now downloaded. Now, if we minimize our browser, we have four things on our desktop. One, Optifine. Two, Code Chicken Core. And three, Not Enough Items. And four, Forge. Now, these are in your desktop at the Windows key and your keyboard and are at the exact same time. Type in Downloads, hit Enter, and they will be in your Downloads folder here. Take them and drag them out of your downloads folder to your desktop. Nevertheless, once they're on your desktop, we can get uh, working into this. Now, first off, we want to install Forge. To do this, simply right-click, open with Java TM Platform SC Binary. It'll open up this nice little Forge installer. We want to click on Install Client and then click OK. It'll go through the downloads and stuff, do some things, and woohoo, successfully installed Forge Client Profile. That's what I like to see. Click OK, and now we can delete the Forge file we downloaded. We don't need that anymore. Now let's focus on installing these three, these these three valiant files here, Optifine, Coaching, Core, non enough items. To install these, simply hit the Windows key or keyboard and R at the exact same time. Type in percent, app data, percent, percent, app, data, percent, hit enter, and it will take us here, where you then want to go into dot .minecraft, and you'll have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. What do I do? Well, I don't know, you're on your own. No, I'm kidding. You simply create a mods folder. Right-click on the white space, create a new folder, title it M-O-D-S, mods, all lowercase, exactly like that, and uh, you're good to go. Go ahead and open it, and then drag all three of these files we downloaded, Optifine, Code Chicken Core, and Not Enough Items, into this folder. Guess what, guys? Whatever other mods you want to install, you can drag them into here, right? As long as they work with Forge, just drag them in that mods folder, and you're good to go, and they will work with Optifine. I guarantee it. So there you go. Awesome. Quick and easy. Boom, boom, boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Sure, that's what I usually say. Let's go ahead and double up the Minecraft launcher here and make sure we're launching in the correct version of Forge. Again, this will work with any mod, not just not enough items. So I'll drop Optifine in that mod folder and the other mod, and you're good to go. Nevertheless, once we're in the um, Minecraft launcher here, we want to click on the profile we want to play. In my case, it's going to be Nick's Games. Hit Edit Profile, then go to Use Version right here. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you'll see Release 1.8 Forge right there. Click that. Click Save Profile, click Play, and we're download some stuff, do some things, and open up Minecraft 1.8 with Forge installed, Optifine installed, Not Enough Items installed, and Code Chicken Core installed, because Code Chicken Core is needed for Not Enough Items. Pretty awesome stuff, if you ask me. So, anyway guys, it's a very simple thing to do. I'll show you everything's installed here. As you see, we can go into Options, we can go into Video Settings, and there's all the Optifine stuff, performance, and animations, and all that. 
It's, uh, it's, it's ready to go. Let's go ahead and turn everything on. I don't know why it's off. And, uh, once you've done that, we can also jump into the mods folder here. We've got not enough items. Boom, boom. And then we've also got, uh... Optifine in here, but it's not showing his Optifine, which is interesting. I think this is actually what's showing his Optifine technically, but you just saw it was installed with all the added video settings right there. As you can see, all of those don't even exist if Optifine isn't installed, as well as those pop ups right there don't exist if Optifine isn't installed. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump into a world real quick. We'll do, we'll just create a new survival world real quick. That way I don't taint. And you have my Let's Play worlds with uh, not enough items, because people will accuse me of cheating if I do, because that's apparently a thing. People really do care if you cheat in Minecraft for some reason. But if we join in here, we're going to E, and there's not enough items installed in addition to Optifine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't make awesome Minecraft tutorials and videos and everything every single day of the week that I know you guys enjoy. And uh, yeah, I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace. Thanks for watching. And here's some videos you guys might want to go check out. Down that way, we've got Nick Tech Episode 1. I built a mod pack and I'm doing Let's Play on it. It's like a how to Let's Play merger style thing. It's pretty cool. Go check it out. And down the other way, we've got how to start a server for Minecraft 1.8.7. That video, well, shows you how to start a 1.8.7 server. Go check it out. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm Nick Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace.